I'm going to show you how to combine multiple still images into a 3D space, bring it into After Effects, build a camera, and then you can kind of fly your camera throughout this 3D space. These pictures were taken in Paris on top of the Galerie Lafayette, and it is a giant shopping mall in the middle of Paris, and they have this really cool dome thing that you can see at the top here. Pretty cool. Anyways, let's open up Photoshop, go to Automate Photo Merge, and let's select Perspective, and let's select our six photos here, and hit OK. And watch what Photoshop does here. It takes these layers and builds them into a panoramic with depth. And let's save this as our panoramic as a Photoshop file. Hit Save. Open this file with After Effects. We want to have editable layer styles. All right, now when this opens here, we're gonna make these all 3D layers and bring in a new camera. Uh, 35 millimeter will work just fine and hit OK. And now a new null object, make that null 3D and parent our camera to that null. So we can now control this. Let's hit fit. We can see our composition size is way too big. So we're gonna go into our comp settings and hit HDTV 1080 at 24 frames a second. So now what we have here, let's pull our null back in Z space. And now you can see our panoramic opens right inside of After Effects here. And what we can do then is grab our null and set a keyframe for the rotation at the very beginning and rotate it all the way to the left and then set a keyframe at the very end and rotate it all the way to the right. Now you can see how it's kind of cut up there where these images were joined together. Once we change our quality, I have it set at quarter right now so it renders out quicker. But once we change our quality, it will become seamless. And then let's add a new solid. We'll make it black. We're going to call this VIN for our vignette. And then we're going to come up to our ellipse tool, double click that, invert it and hit F for feathering and let's feather this out and then bring the opacity down to about 60 and we have a nice vignette on there now alright the next thing we can do here is we're gonna add a new adjustment layer and bring this below our vignette so it doesn't affect that and then we're gonna add color correction and just add a curves adjustment layer here and just make it a little bit brighter and add some contrast here Then let's add a hue and saturation. And we're going to just pump a little saturation here, make the sky a little bluer. Add another adjustment layer. And bring that down just over the last one we just made. And then we'll add this warm evening look here from our cinema styles from Video Copilot. And let's change the opacity on that layer to 70%. So now we have this old kind of European look for our Parisian skyline. Now let's take all these layers from our null to our last image and we're going to pre-compose these. Hit OK. And then we're going to add a new null object and we're going to come to our aftershake from our video copilot plugin that we talked about last time and add our aftershake null to that and then take our pre-comp layer and we're going to parent that to our null and then we're gonna make a couple changes here in our adjustments we're gonna change our rotation bring it down we don't want this to be too crazy we want it to be very subtle make it look handheld bring down our speed and the amount And then we're going to scale this up just a little bit because remember these are large still images so we can get away with this a little bit. And we're going to also add a motion tile and mirror the edges out a little bit just in case our handheld look goes over anywhere, which it shouldn't because we brought those numbers down pretty low. Let's go ahead and add a new solid again. And let's just add a little lens flare here. This will kind of help 
tie the whole image together. Uh, go into our optical flares here from Video Copilot again. Wow, they're getting a lot of product placement here. And uh, they, we have this cloudy sun filter here in our Pro presets, and we're going to make this 3D and put it on transparent. And then we'll just change our XY position here. And then we'll drop down our camera position. And we're going to copy the Z position from our camera position and paste it into the Z position for our flares. That way it'll end up in front of the camera. And then what we're going to do is kind of toggle over here and reposition that flare just off the frame kind of over the sun here. So we'll just get a real subtle effect and then we'll even come over and bring down the brightness. Alright, bring this to fit. Go back into our panoramic, kind of scroll through this here. Now once I render this out, you know, you could do other things like make the flag move. There's tutorials for that out there. I also added just a little clouds in the background, uh, kind of feathered those out and make it look, you know, just add a little bit more to this. A little subtle movement always helps. But uh, yeah, this is what I ended up with just from stitching some still images together. And, you know, you could use this for a lot of different things. This is just one example. So, alright guys. Have fun with this and, uh, you know, show me what you make by posting a video response and I'll see you guys later.